Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, hello. My name is Shauna Marshall. Welcome on in. I already know you're about to enjoy your time here. So please make sure to hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video. Also, follow me over on Twitter and on TikTok at Shauna Marshall YT. The names will be in the description box below. Hey guys, before I get started, I do want to jump in here. I know I'm, I'm cutting, I'm cutting into my own video, but I do want to jump in here and give some flowers where flowers are due. This is long overdue. I should have been and did this in my videos, but I have not, but that is okay. I am doing it now. I just want to give a major shout out to a lot of the simmers that I have grown to know, watch their content, love their content. And they are just some amazing, amazing people. Like, and when I first started, giving y'all just a little story. When I first started, um, wanting to record sims on youtube i never thought that i would actually have um where where am i now 600 plus subscribers right never thought that i would grow to have that that many i just love the sims i was always telling stories and playing it on my own anyway so i was just like you know what why not record it um So it, 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 it really does mean a lot having over 600 subscribers and continuing to grow every single day. You don't understand how much this means to me, especially me thinking that it would never happen. And I'm just putting my, my Sims out there for fun, pretty much. But also with that, the Simmers that I've met along the way that have supported me, liked, like, liked my, um, my my episodes commented just everything that they've done it has meant so much giselle sims chocolate ease barbie sims simply why just to name a few because that is certainly certainly not all of them and if i don't call your name i'm so sorry it do, don't take it to heart i promise you do not take it to heart it's just Y'all mean y'all really do mean a lot to me and I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the encouraging words. I appreciate just dropping in to say, hey, episode was five. Whatever y'all put on my on my on my um page under the comments. I appreciate it. Liking the video, watching it, everything that you do, everything my subscribers do. I appreciate it. And I really needed to take the time out from my videos to tell you guys that. Because I don't do it enough and, and I need to start. And I really appreciate you guys so, so very much. Again, it is so many more um, simmers out there that I did not name. And I'm sorry. When I'm starting to talk, I always lose my train of thought. So all the names that I had in my brain just like go blank. <laughs> so don't take it to heart. I apologize. But it is so many amazing simmers out there that you guys need to make sure Go and subscribe to their channels. Watch their comment. Watch their watch their comment. What the hell? Watch their content. <laughs> leave comments. Leave a like. Everything to make sure that we are all supporting each other because we all want to want to want to grind and get to the top of this simming game. Period. So I appreciate you guys so much. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking right there and get back into the episode. <laughs> Hey guys, today I am finally bringing you my brand new LP. I was going to call it Meet the Durbins, but now it will be growing with the Durbins. So I already gave y'all a little sneak peek of their background when I made my community post about a month ago, maybe. So, but anyway, just to introduce you guys, this is Jasmine. The baby is Phoenix. And then we have her husband, Trey. They have been together ever since they were um, 16. When Yasmin learned that she was pregnant by Trey, they were not dating. It was just sort of like a, a fling. And then <laughs> she ended up pregnant with Phoenix. Um, their parents were extremely upset that not only did they woohoo, but that they also got pregnant. So they were pressured basically to be together and to marry each other because their families do not believe in having children out of wedlock. So because of her family and because of his family, they have been forced to marry and live this marriage life. And 
it's like they love each other, but I think they love each other because of Phoenix. So they have just sort of grown accustomed to this lifestyle. But they both have their own little secrets, I guess I should just say. So <laughs> I don't want to give I don't want to give too much away until I really get into the gameplay. But they do have their own little secrets that they are trying to work through and still keep their family's approval, I guess. So it's like they're living this double life. Neither one of them know what the other one is doing, but they're like really getting tired of not putting themselves first and living this fake life. So it, it seemed like they're sort of branching apart, but they're staying together because of Phoenix. They want to give her a family and they want to stay together because of her. But at the end of the day, I don't think that's going to be enough anymore. And one of them is definitely going to go ahead and branch away and start living their life how they so choose. Um, Yasmin wants to become a psychiatrist and she also wants to um, write books. And then Trey wants to be like a professor, a school teacher and, and go into the um, university professional pro professor field. That is what they want. So that's what they work. That's what they are working toward. Um, so we're going to be trying to make that happen for them. So we're going to go ahead and head into cast so you can see their traits and you can see a little bit of their outfits and all that other good stuff. All right. So the first person we're going to go ahead and start with is Miss Yasmin. Yasmin, her goal is, you know, academic. She really loves to learn and continue to grow, which being wanting to become a psychiatrist is really good for her because she likes to continue learning. And with that feel, you definitely got to be on your toes and continue to know all of the new stuff that comes about and just stay up on top of your studies. So um, she loves to retain knowledge. So it is uh, academic. The Sim wants to attend a university and get a job. But most importantly, she wants to learn. Um, we also have the psychiatrist trait. It says the Sim specialize in mental health. They're qualified to assess psychological problems. She's ambitious and she's also a bookworm. So my girl is smart, period. Like she's smart. Anyway, moving on to Trey. So Trey is also smart. Clearly, they have a lot in common. Um, he's a nerd brain. The Sims wants to be both book smart and handy. Um, he's an art lover. He is an overachiever. Pretty much everything he sets his mind to, he does it. But he also has his childish ways, childish ways as most men do not all but most they do have their childish ways and Trey is no different and then we have our Miss Beautiful Phoenix and of course she's angelic um I I couldn't give her nothing but else nothing else but angelic I can't talk today y'all I'm so sorry why is her hair red her hair was not supposed to be red it's supposed to be black let me fix that what's happening but she's so cute. She's so cute. Okay, moving on to outfits. So this is her first outfit in everyday wear. I think I only got her one outfit per, yeah. Um, This is her formal wear, her sleep wear, her party wear, and then swim. I'm about to say it better kept her hair black. Then we have her hot weather and her cold weather. She's so cute. I think I got all of them one outfit a piece I think okay so moving on to Yasmin here are her outfits this is the first one this is her everyday wear then we have her formal wear athletic she got her sleepwear her party wear this is so cute I love this then she got her swimwear hot weather which I guess I got her two outfits Okay, I got her two outfits. I did not remember making that. Okay, and then cold weather. Boom. There's my girl Yasmin. And for Trey, here's his outfits. So we have everyday. We have formal. Athletic. Sleep. Party. Swimwear. Hot. And cold weather. All right, let me put them back in their hot weather because I think it's hot and I don't have time for them to freaking burn. Okay, let me put you back in your hot weather, girl. And then 
put her back in hers. There we go. That ain't what you was wearing, Yasmin. Let me fix this, honey. All right, put this one on. Put your first one on. All right, let's get back into the game. All right, y'all. So before we get into the gameplay, I need to go ahead and introduce you guys to their little uh, side pieces, I guess I should say. So Yasmin's biggest secret that Trey does not know yet is that she's actually um, dating Zane. Zane is a guy that used to live in their neighborhood, not that far from them. And, you know, Yasmin just sort of became cool with him. And then it just sort of went from there. And their relationship is absolutely amazing. Like Zane is the one that Yasmin wants to be with, but she's afraid of breaking that news to Trey and her family because she knows how they are and what they believe in and all of that. So she's really just keeping Zane a secret, but Zane is getting to the point where it's like, it's either we make like make this work or it's time for us to move on. Like he feel like it's just been too much of the back and forth and trying to keep him a secret. Um, so he's just over it and he's tired of it. So Yasmin got a big, big decision to make when it comes to whether she wants to stay with Trey or either she wants to go with Zane. And then we got, oh, and let me introduce y'all. This is her, uh, where's her mom? This is her mom, Miriam. So this is her mother and this is her father. Her father is the owner, well, is a landlord um, over in an apartment complex. So he is, you know, this is basically who brings in all of the money and things like that. Um, so they are extremely religious and they believe that they, first off, they don't believe in divorce, one, and they do not believe in having a child out of wedlock, which is why they made these two marry. And then this here is Trey's mom, Patricia, and Trey's dad, Richard. Um, and they believe the same thing. They do not believe in um, what Trey and Yasmin wanted to do, which was basically just have that baby and <laughs> live their own separate lives. But mom and dad on both sides put a stop to that real, real quick. Um, so now on for Trey's secret. So... Trey is really living a double life. So we think that Yasmin is the one that's living the double life. But I mean, she is, but she isn't. So when it comes to Trey, he's been hiding a very, very dark secret for a, well, not a dark secret, but a secret for a very, very, very long time. His parents don't know about it. Yasmin don't know about it. And now he's really afraid to um, tell the truth and live in his truth. So... So Trey has been dating this guy, which is a friend of Yasmin as well. And his name is Trey. So, I mean, I'm sorry. Not, his name is not Trey. His name is Carter. <laughs> um, his name is Carter. So they've been dating for a while and things are really getting serious. So just like Zane with Yasmin, Carter is telling Trey that he needs to live into in his truth. He needs to tell Yasmin and he needs to tell his parents who he really is and basically just stop lying to everyone. Um, Carter is trying to be patient and he's trying to be understanding with Trey, but Carter is also getting to the point where, okay, it's either you decide what you want or you let me go forever. So they are both being pulled in so many different directions. Yasmin's being pulled by Zane and her parents. Trey is being pulled by Carter and his parents. All meanwhile, they just want to make sure that Phoenix is happy. Um, So that is crazy. I don't know exactly how it's going to play out. Yeah, so it's just, it's a lot that is going on with this family here and they have to determine what they want, like both of them, because it's getting crazy and they're about to break a lot of hearts if they don't go ahead and de decide what it is that they want. I understand that they want to be a family for Phoenix, but if they're not living in their truth and if they're not happy, all of that is just going to rub off on her. So Trey tries to like play like he's flirty and he loves Yasmin, which he does. 
He does, but at the end of the day, he's not happy and neither is Jasmine. Like she's doing the exact same thing. So that was a lot, (laughs) y'all. That was a lot. We're going to get into a little bit of gameplay today. This episode, more than likely, is not going to be extremely long. I'm going to let y'all know that right now. Um, It's mainly just so I can like introduce you guys to this family, get them started. I do want to get Yasmin started in school. Uh, Well, Yasmin and Trey, they both do. They want to go to the university. Um, So we have to get them accepted into school and things like that so they can start growing their lives and determine what they want to do. So they got all of this drama. They got a kid. And on top of that, they now want to go to school. I don't know if they're going to flunk out or what, but we're going to go ahead and get started. I want to have Yasmin. My girl hungry, though. So I'm going to have her go ahead and get some leftovers i'm pretty sure y'all should have already seen her their house that's why i did not give a tour because i did do like a little speed build um on the channel so um that's why i did not do a tour because i have already done it for you guys to see okay so i am going to have him come in here and apply to the university first and then And then I'm going to have Yasmin do it. So let's have him sit down and come on and apply to the university. Okay. And in the meantime, what is she doing? And y'all, they got that money because, again, their parents helped them a whole lot because they see that they're trying. So all of that money comes from their parents. Everything that they need, they pay for. So they have not been able to really live on their own and, like, face any bills or anything like that. So um, that is where all of the money come from. It's from their parents because their parents got money. It is not from them, that's for sure. So let's have him apply for some scholarships. What can we apply for? He don't have a lot of skills though, y'all. So I don't know what they gonna give my guy. (laughs) At the end, we may just have to have our parents. Okay, just a university scholarship. He, his parents will probably have to uh, pay for it. Same with Yasmin. More than likely, their parents will pay. Okay, look at her. She's reading to her, y'all. Yeah, when I tell y'all, Yasmin is literally the best mama I have ever seen. Especially with her being so young. With her being so young, she literally gives all of her attention to Phoenix. <laughs> She's so cute. And we need to start potty training. Uh, Phoenix and everything. Okay, so just stop talking to her real quick, though. I really need for you to apply. <laughs> I need for you to apply to a university, too. I know having two people in college is going to stress me out, but, I mean, it is what it is. What the heck wrong with you? you? You don't have to use it, Mama. Go and sit down and apply to the university. Okay. I need for you to apply to the university too. And then we also need to look and see what scholarships you can apply for. What did that say? Thank you for pressing my buttons. What? You better not be being mean to Phoenix over there. I don't even know where you went. Better not be mean to our baby. I swear. All right. Is the freaking hair on her arms red, child? Why is this? Why is this game changing the color of my Sam's hair? I didn't ask them to do that. Oh, she could do food and drink. Okay, so we're going to do that one. And let's apply to the other one, though. Okay, so you need to apply for both of them, Mama. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and the University Drive. And let's purchase some fish. I put that fish tank and forgot to have them purchase some freaking fish. To fill it in. You did? Okay. Good. Uh All right. Let's have her come on in here and what is it? 222? I'm sure they'll be hungry in a minute. What are you doing? Are you about to get you something to eat? Okay. You just cleaning up. Let's have you go ahead and cook. So it'll be ready by the time. She can't cook a lot though because her, her, her skills still ain't up. But that's fine. 
it's up good enough i absolutely love baby girl's room i do need to give her a real changing table though since she's not potty trained she is going to need to be getting those uh get that diaper change not him in here twerking you better say that for carter my guy you better save all that for carter my guy like <laughs> i cannot i cannot and she freaking stays hungry like look at you about to eat now she literally just ate before i even started recording like I don't know why she eating so much, but she is so torque skill acquired. Okay, okay. Go sit down. <laughs> like, I also need to um I want to get them jobs, but I feel like that's gonna be too much. Especially since their parents have offered to help for now. I am going to uh not have them get any jobs and they're just gonna focus on school and Phoenix and each other, maybe. And keep it like that. Let's have her go in here with them. Y'all, they are so good with Phoenix. Like, when I tell y'all they love this girl. They love this girl. Not her being sleepy. She want to take a nap? Girl, we came in here to, like, play with you. And she gonna go to sleep. Okay, well... All right, let's have them come in here and I guess they could talk to each other. They like really hardly ever do that. So just come on in here. No, yeah. Stop sitting down, girl. Get up and go in here and talk to your husband. Come on. <laughs> oh my God. They got themselves in such a horrible situation. Okay, so let's have them talk talk about y'all marriage should be like so how how do you think things are going are you happy being married to me and he's like of course why wouldn't i be she's like i just feel like you just be doing all talk like you tell me what i want to hear he's like that's not it at all yeah, He's like, I really just want to play video games and not talk right now. Oh my god. But y'all, okay, while um what you call it sleep? I am about to tell y'all let I'm about no, I'm about to let her go over there so y'all can see what she wants. Like she could have a really good life with um with uh Trey if she wanted to. You know, I really feel like they could have a good life. If Trey and if Yasmin, if they were happy where they were or where they are, they could have a really good life. But let me take y'all over there to Zane, who she feels like she's going to be happy with. Let me let me take y'all over there. Just get in the bike. Not, thi not this. <laughs> what was that? Girl, park the car. Park the car. <laughs> What's that? All right, y'all, let me show y'all where Zane is living. So, like, this neighborhood looks nice, right? It's sort of deserted. Like, it's literally nothing here, right? It's nothing here. It's Look at this. It's the ghetto. That's why it ain't nothing here. Look at where he's living. But she is in love with this man. Can someone, can someone explain? This is what she wants. Like, this is what she wants, though. He says it's this way because, you know, he's just, like... He's trying to come up and he's actually going to renovate this house. So he say, uh, but our guy really, he, he deals with the, I don't even know if I can say it because you two be tripping. So it's rugs, but it starts with a D. <laughs> so he does a lot of that, but she just doesn't care. Like she just sees him, but I mean, look at him. He is cute. I get it. I get it. He He's a cutie. But compared to what she want out of life, to be a psychiatrist, my, and don't get me wrong, he could actually, like, change and things like that. And he, he is cute. He's cute. And he's still young, too. He's 18. But it's just, like, it's not, it's not, it's not given. It's not given. So let me go ahead and let her come on over here. 
let's uh, flirt with him a little bit. Let's go ahead. Like she literally woohooed with Trey before I started recording, y'all. Before I started recording. So, you know, they do, they woohoo and all of that other stuff so they can like keep the marriage like it's real, I guess. And then she will either leave and come over here or Trey will leave and go to Carter. Like it's just been this whole, whole freaking mess. So let's give him a kiss because she missed him and she's going to woohoo with him. Like, because this is who she really wants. <laughs> Even though he's cute, don't get me wrong. And maybe them too, if Yasmin actually grows up and like wants to tell her parents and tell Trey what she wants, she could actually like make him a, a decent person. Like, you never know. But, child, I don't know. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure this out as we get down to the to the nitty gritty of this uh LP. Alright, so those two are done. Let's see if um <sighs> Alright, so those two are done. Let's go ahead and ask him to dress up. Boy, like put your put your clothes back on. Put your clothes back on, please. This man ain't even got a bathroom, y'all. <laughs> Like, my girl can't go shower. She can't go to the restroom if she needed it. Like, nothing. Is he just... I'm about to say, is you just not going to dress up? But she loved his man. So, you about to go back to Trey all sweaty like this. Like, you going to have to go right in and get in the shower. Like, look at you. You got sweat everywhere. What you going to tell this man? You been running? And it's 830 Girl, you got to get back home. So let's go ahead and uh, accompany the ask to accompany childbirth. Wait, what? I it's child. We going okay. Give him a kiss. We got to go home. We got to go home. Let's uh okay. Go and give him a kiss, and we got to go home. Cause what does that mean? I thought that only popped up when they're actually pregnant. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. And then you got to go home because you got to use it anyway. And my guy don't have a bathroom for you. <laughs> nah, switching like this. Okay, she's home. First thing first. Oh, my God. And, sh and the baby's woke. Let's hurry up. Go in there and take a shower, girl. Where is Trey? Where is Trey? Where is he? Uh, not him back here barbecuing. Child, let me save because my game been going crazy. All right. And you're just going to leave the food right here, Trey. Like, for real. that You think that's the smart way to do it? Even though you had plenty of food already? How about you come on in here, go to the bathroom, and then take you a shower. So that way you won't see your wife run into the shower like she is right now. <laughs> These two and they double lives, y'all. Soon as freaking Phoenix goes down for like a nap or anything, one of them is like, all right, I'm out. I'll be back. Like, they are always leaving. Okay, and I'm trying to figure out why would she accompany? Oh my gosh, she can't take a pregnancy test. Okay, come and use it first, because I don't think it's going to let you use it. I said go use it, Mama. Stop being dramatic. Go on and use it. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to need for you to take this freaking test. Because she freak. But the thing is, she woohoo with two guys in one day. How am I going to know? Okay, yeah, go ahead, wash your hands, and then I'm going to need for you to hurry up and go in and, and figure this out. Not that. I can't stand this blurry thing. I mean, I know I got to have it, but still, why you got to do it with her face? Okay. Okay, mama, what? Some Not you being pregnant? Woo! 
Not you being happy about it. Oh my God. Y'all, it said, who's the other parent? Yasmin has woohoo with several possible impregnators recently and is sure and isn't sure which one is related to her child. There's going to be a new addition to this household. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, I didn't think that would happen so quick. Girl, if you are pregnant by Yasmin, I mean by uh, Zane, you're literally not going to have another choice but to tell. Oh my God, does he know? Okay, he doesn't know anything. So can we like tell him that we're pregnant, I guess? Oh my. Share the big news, but will he know it's his or will he know that it's not his? I mean, because... Oh, my God. Admit not knowing who fathered your child. Heck, no, we're going to lie. Like, we're going to lie. Can we tell Axe Tra Can we tell him he's a father? Okay, we can share the big news. Okay, share the big news and see what he says. <gasps> but what if she's nervous to say anything? Maybe she don't want to say anything. I'm not going to say anything yet. Because maybe she's trying to figure out how she want to handle this. But, of course, she's hungry. So she's probably wants to figure out how she want to handle this. No. Oh, you giving him a kiss? Okay. Not you trying to butter him up. Girl, stop. Yasmin is no good, y'all. Do y'all see the look that she gave? <laughs> He's so confused. Oh, my God. Okay. Like. I'm afraid to tell him. So she's not going to tell him yet. She's going to keep it to herself and not breathe a word. Not you still being flirty. Yasmin, we got to calm this down. We got to talk, honey. We got to talk. Look how he looking at her. Like, <laughs> is you good? Like, yeah. you ain't never yeah, kissed me like that before. Are you You good? <laughs> He like she's like I'm just in a really good mood. That's all. Oh my God! What does her moodlet say? A child on the way. Yasmin wants children and is happy to know one is on the way. Okay. I mean, I'm glad you're happy about it because the last thing I got time for is to deal with you not wanting a pregnancy because that's just that gets annoying. Okay, let's just put all of this food up. Just put that away. Oh, my God. Okay, where is her little butt? She needs to go to bed because I know she took that, that nap, but it's still almost it's almost 12 in the morning. I'm going to need for her to go to sleep. And she stink. Does she stink? Come and change her diaper real quick before she go lay down. Okay, come and um come and change her diaper. Was it her that was thinking? I don't know if it was her or not, but either way, we need to why does that fish look like a skeleton? It's a bone fish. I don't like that. We can't get like a goldfish. Like Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the um the changing table just to make this a little bit more realistic okay so let's have him go in and child i don't even know what i want him to do <laughs> with yasmin i'll take her a bath um later she'll take one tomorrow all right let's go ahead and put her to bed and where are you going no you're not about to dance let's look how she looking at her baby y'all she loves phoenix so much and she gonna love this baby just as much like she wants so many kids because she loves babies like she loves being a mom um let's uh child woohoo no we no let's just give her an embrace <laughs> like i really don't know what to do at this point oh my god i just child 
All right, y'all, I'm actually going to go ahead and end the episode right there. I told y'all I did not want this episode to be crazy long. It's really just introducing you guys to everybody. In the next episode, Trey will be taking you all to meet Carter. And more than likely, Yasmin will be telling Trey and Zane that uh, she's pregnant. But I really, I truly don't know which... I don't, I don't know who this baby belongs to. So, and she never, I never took her to the bathroom after she woohooed with uh, Trey to even see if that option was there. Like if the pregnancy test was there, but I'm sure it was. So yeah, I don't know how this is going to play out, but we got a whole lot of stuff to unveil when it comes to these two. Hopefully in the next episode, they will be enrolled in school and they can start that as well. Um, if they have to pay for it, we're going to have to take a visit to their parents' house so their parents can give them the money that they need in order to, in order to go to school. So it's a lot. It's, it's a lot that is about to happen in this LP. I definitely hope that you guys are going to enjoy it and love it as much as I think I am going to. Leave me some comments down below. How long do y'all think Yasmin should wait before she tells Trey and tell Zane about this pregnancy? Of course, I'm going to prolong it. And more than likely, she's not. she won't even be in her second trimester until uh a few episodes so it's definitely not gonna be quick that's for sure but leave me some comments down below i definitely hope that you guys enjoyed please make sure to hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you're notified every single time i upload a video i appreciate you guys so much and i will see you next week with a brand new episode bye guys